साईश्वराय विद्महे सत्य देवाय धीमहे तन्नसर्व प्रचोदयात् ओ 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 साईश्वराय विद्महे सत्य देवाय धीमहे तन्नसर्व प्रचोदयात् Dear devotees, you are about to embark on the greatest journey of your life, a journey to the core of your inner being. Please, all in a low voice, follow the Omkar and let your mind reach a quietude of silence. All together, let us repeat the pranava.
please sit up straight and in the quietness of your mind hear the sound of your breathing breathe in Open your eyes and see the light in front of you. This is the light of a candle. Gaze intently at the light. Now feel the light shining in the center of your forehead. Now half close your eyes and feel the light in the center of your forehead. Now, let that light come down, down your neck, to the center of your chest. Imagine a flower, a lotus, opening petal by petal to receive the light. Now the light is resting on the lotus. The lotus disappears, only the light remains. But it is no more the light of the candle. It is a round ball of formless light. It is a light of divinity within you. Feel this light now expand. And feel the light going down, down your body into your legs, up to your feet. Feel warmth as the light surges through your limbs. And make this mental vow, O Lord, my legs, touched by the light of your divinity, will always take me only to places of goodness. Feel the light surging upwards, up into your chest, around your shoulders and down into your arms and fingers. Feel the warmth as this light surges through you. Make this mental vow, O Lord. My arms, touched by the light of your divinity, will only yearn to do what is good. Now feel the light surging upwards into your neck and into your face, into your head and the light now shines in your eyes make a vow my eyes must yearn to see only what is good feel the light now shining in your ears my ears must yearn to hear only what is good feel the light now shining on your lips my lips must yearn to only speak what is good. Now, feel this light now shining into your whole body. The light illumines the body. In your mind, repeat the words, the light is in me. Now feel the light expand. Expand and you are now sitting in a ball of light in a cone of formless light. Let your mind say, the light is within me, I am in the light. Feel a thrill of this light and now feel this light expanding, expanding and filling this entire room with a divine glow. And let this light now go beyond this room beyond and beyond, spreading ever further to this whole country. And beyond this country, beyond oceans and beyond nations, let this light flow ever outwards to encompass the whole world. Now, imagine yourself, not your physical body, but an inner being within you, like a gigantic divine form. 
sitting on the globe and the light of your divinity, the light of your love encompassing the whole world. Stay for a moment thrilled in that thought. Now bring into your mind's eye and send your light of love to all the creatures of the world all the animals and insects, creatures that fly or crawl, all of them are God's creatures. Send your light of love now to those whom you dislike or whom you think dislike you. Send your love, send your light of love to them. The same Atma in you is also in them. Let them feel the radiance of your light. Let them feel the radiance of your love. Now, into your mind's eye, bring those you love, your spouse, children, relations, friends, whoever. Bathe them with the divine glow of your love. Feel oneness with the whole world. Feel at peace with yourself. And now, look inside you. Can you imagine? Do you see a ball of light within you? In this ball of light, bring in the form of the Ishtadeva, the divine being that you love and worship. See this form smiling within you. See this divine form raise his hands in blessing. You have shared your love with the world. Now, receive the blessing and darshan of the divine, the divine within. Stay for a moment, thrilled in this thought that you and he are one. Yo, yo, no, 
And Swami gave the entire thing to these two schoolboys and told. which I have narrated in different times at different times uh, but uh, it fills me with great wonder and joy to remember it. This was when we were in Kodai Canal. Swami had taken that year quite a few school boys with him to Kodai Canal and I also had the opportunity and we had a very long trip and very interesting time you know in Kodai Canal the way Swami uh, you are living with Swami, you see Swami in so many different ways and then you realize that He is the same Swami at all times. You cannot imagine that uh, the Swami which we see in public, you know, so meticulous in His ways, we see the same Swami for 30 days, 24 uh, hours a day and His conduct is the same. 
the way he he is close to us that yes is different because we are living there with him but his physical conduct his mannerisms the way he eats the way he talks it's all so different of course this is a sight we were coming back from a photograph session uh, on the hilltop and i was walking very near swami and there were two other school boys and as swami was about to get into the into his car just before that um, our bus was there and as swami was walking he turned towards a bougainvillea creeper and swami turns that side and he goes to the bougainvillea creeper you know it's thorny and all those leaves and those flowers swami goes there and plucks starts plucking so all of us were watching i was just behind swami he plucked out can you imagine that the bougainvillea uh, creeper was now having plums biologically they were attached illogically maybe but they were actually biologically attached the twig was fresh fresh cut the plums were fresh the leaves were still bougainvillea leaves and sami gave the entire thing to these two school boys and told eat it and they actually plucked them right in front of me they plucked the plums and put them into the mouth and then the twig was still fresh you can see the cut there and then these two boys started eating and they were kept on chewing the plum so i i told this boy hey seed <laughs> at least you may you can throw the seed and he says uh, sir it has become chocolate so the plum had turned into chocolate there is another interesting thing to think about god can pluck out fruits from sweet fruits from thorny bushes we sow seeds of all varieties of karmas in all our lives but he has the power to convert that and give you sweet fruits at the end of it if you are with him if you think of him he can convert thorny creepers and the, that kind of a karma into sweet fruits and he even remove the seeds even the seeds of karma can vanish and it can just become sweet chocolate which you will keep chewing forever offering my most humble pranams at the divine lotus feet of our dearest beloved bhagwan shri sathya sai baba jay sai ram to you all the announcements for today are as follows On the auspicious occasion of Mahashivratri there will be a regional online program on Thursday the 11th of March from 7:30 to 9:30 p.m. You will have the wonderful opportunity to offer abhishekam from your homes. For the full list of items required please visit our website or use the link shown on the screen. As it is a night dedicated to the worship of Lord Shiva There will be an additional online program by the Leicester Sai Centers from 10 p.m. on the Leicester Sai Centers YouTube channel. The program will include bhajans, a small abhishekam, and darshan of the 12 Jyoti Lingas. We hope you will tune into both events, which will help us connect with the indwelling spirit inside us all. Next Sunday. 14th of March on this very YouTube channel we will be celebrating Mother's Day from 8:45 a.m. Our SSC students will be showcasing their works and activities carried out during the lockdown period and also offering bhajans to our dearest mother sai. It will be a program dedicated to all of our mothers who tirelessly work and serve selflessly day and night. If you would like your child to join our SSC classes, please contact our SSC coordinator Mira Ben at info at lestercentre dot org dot uk. If you missed the recent health and well-being webinar on common ear, nose, and throat conditions, which was conducted by Dr. Baskar Ram, you can find this link via our website. We will now finish with the thought of the day by the SSE children. Jay Sairam.
my most humble and loving pranams at the divine lotus feet of Bhagavan Sri Satya Sai Baba, respected elders, brothers and sisters, Jai Sai Ram. Love alone confers lasting happiness and peace. Sharing can alone reduce, give grief and multiply joy. People are born to share, to serve, to give and not to grab. Baba Jai Sai Ram. Oh, my God. 
जय बोलो भगवान श्री सत्य साई बाबा जी की